And the video you're about to see is um, me slaughtering the uh, one of my um, heifers that was born twins with a male bull, which is not breedable. So, being I can't get them into the slaughterhouse, you have to book a year in advance, and these guys, two of them didn't make the load um, due to a truck driver. So I'm stuck um, doing them myself. And I have two nephews that want to learn how to do it. So this video here is me teaching him how to do it. He's doing 90% of the work, and I'm just showing him step by step what to do. Um, everything from the bleeding, skinning, gutting, cutting it in half, washing it all down. This is my sister's youngest boy. The other, the other black one that I gotta do will be in um, probably three weeks. Cause you can't, around here we can't get them into the abattoir um, unless you book them a year in a year in advance. And uh, I've always done my own slaughtering anyway. But um, so I just want to caution anybody that got squeeze queasy stomach or can't take it to just click off because the first next scene you're going to see is the heifer hanging bleeding out yes she'll be hanging bleeding out so if you can't take this this is just a caution to you to let you know ahead of time that this is what this is about and uh Maybe you can learn how it's done as well as I explain a few things to him. Um, please enjoy. And if you can help people in need, please check out the links below. Be greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you. Let's get on with the show. She's been uh, expired now. That's the heifer. We're slaughtering today. Guys are over here. Today is uh, March first, Sunday, March first, and we're butchering the one cow. Or one one heifer, the one heifer. Oh, Shelly's here. Shelly's here. Look at that. Hey, Shelly. And we got Nolan over there, taking taking the taking the belly out. Everybody get stirred up when this happens. No, no. They they were all on holidays eating. Okay. <laughs> I got the puppy, and he's a pain in the ass. I'll put him in there, but hopefully he just come down there with me. Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. Splitting the belly open. Head straight for the center of the brisket. Now normally they're not fed for 24 hours, so it's not usually so tight. You gotta keep the guts away from it there. Teaching the young fella here how to slaughter a beef. Mm. 
my nephew. Right, Caden? Yeah. Just keep cutting until you, you'll, you'll hit some gristle. You'll hit, hit some gristle, and then you'll hit bone. I think you're into the gristle now. Huh? There, you know where my boom truck was parked? There's an aluminum shovel right, right where my boom truck was parked back there. Yeah, go straight. Hey, okay, guys, we'll come see you later. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Grow it. Straight to the left? Huh? Yeah, yeah, go to the left, and then just before just before the, uh, the yellow truck, you'll see two shovels and an axe. I had to do some chopping to get my dump, my boom truck out of there. Okay. Yeah, so, so stop there now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to reach in here and you're going to find that, see this, see this tissue up in there? Yeah. You got to cut that tissue yet and pull the, pull that, the, the butt right through and pull it right outside the animal as soon as you get it free so we don't get no poo-poos inside. You should be able to rip a lot of it when you start pulling on it, but just get the heavier stuff and just see if, and just pull on it and see where it's hanging up. He's right there. Oh, he's playing with Emma. No, he's good. He's good. They come free. Yeah, there might there'll be some tissue maybe holding it yet, but work on getting that free. Start rolling the stomach out. Again, it's going to be harder than normal because it's a full animal. <laughs> oh. oh, it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be full of, full of hay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Let's see what's, it might be a, a tube hanging on here. <laughs> See this, see this cord right there? Yeah. Cut that cord. This one? Yep. Cut that cord off. Okay. Now roll the, now you should be able to get your finger inside that hole after once we get the bellies out and you, you, you put your finger in that hole that cord you just cut. And we better try and roll that out of there. Usually it's not this hard, but she, like I say, she wasn't starved for 24 hours. This is the second, the first stomach right here. See if you can pull this one out. That's the, that's the first stomach. No. What have, what have we got hanging on back here yet? Okay. Cut, cut some more of this tissue here. Okay. Um, cut on the back so on the you want to leave the kidneys in there, so I'll cut this tissue on this side. Just don't puncture this bag. Like that? Yeah. Cut some more here.
And that's her all cut into two pieces, ready to quarter it and take it down and hang it in the root cellar.